Hello all, I am Dr. Nidhi Sharma. Welcome you all in my today's lecture. My today's topic is zeolite water softening process. Now what is this zeolite water softening process is used for? If the water is hard and the hardness is due to the presence of cations like calcium ion, magnesium ion and other heavy metal ions, then these ions can be removed by using the zeolite. So that's why the another name of zeolite water softening process is cation exchange process. So all the hardness caused by the cations can be removed using zeolite. Now as you can see like suppose this is a hard water coming inside which is containing calcium and magnesium ion. Such water when passed through the sodium zeolite bed. The sodium zeolite bed which is containing sodium ion after that the gravels are present. When these calcium or magnesium or heavy metal ions just pass through the zeolite bed, then what happens? Ion exchange reaction takes place. The sodium zeolite and this is magnesium chloride. So here the exchange of ion will take place and you are going to get sodium chloride inside water. So here the water just get purified and the calcium, magnesium, other heavy metal ions just get trapped inside the zeolite bed. So this is how we can remove the cation hardness. It just get trapped here zeolite and sodium ion just come out along with water and sodium ion do not cause any hardness. So this is how we are getting the pure water. Now what happened? After a certain period of time, this zeolite bat get exhausted. Get exhausted means the complete sodium zeolite gets converted into calcium zeolite and magnesium zeolite so at that time this zeolite bed needs the regeneration so during the regeneration what we have to do we have to stop the inner water in water supply so here we stop the in water supply and we do the regeneration of zeolite bed using the brine solution so what is this brine solution it is containing nearly 5% sodium chloride solution so when we just pass the brine solution through this chamber, zeolite chamber. Then at that time, again the exchange reaction takes place. Now, at this time, the reaction which is taking place, this is sodium chloride brine solution. When it comes in contact of exhausted zeolite bed, the sodium and magnesium exchange their position, you will get the magnesium chloride and here again you are going to get the regenerated zeolite. Now these calcium chloride, magnesium chloride or any other salt like calcium sulfate, magnesium sulfate comes in the form of scum. So that's how the scum is just removed from this side and after that the zeolite bed is regenerated. So the zeolite bed is regenerated and then again it can be used for the purification of water. So thank you all for watching this video. Thank you. We will come again with some other topic. Thank you.